welcome back to the guinea pig plates so today we're going to be talking about a very important subject and that is supplements for guinea pigs so this series we're going to be doing in separate parts this is the introduction we're going to be covering a lot on just how to decide what kind of supplements to use whether or not you need to use supplements and whether or not they're actually necessary and just kind of cover a basic overview of what all supplements are out there and kind of a very brief coverage of like what their use is. Um, we will be covering every single different supplement more in detail in the upcoming videos. This is going to become a series we're going to be going through. So we will be covering all these supplements more in detail, more in depth um, in future videos. Um, but today we're just going to be covering very briefly kind of the difference in supplements and just kind of covering more so whether or not supplements are really a practical thing, whether or not that's something that is worth your money and something that you would want to add into your guinea pig's daily diet. So first things first, I'm gonna cover, is supplements something that you should be using? Is that a necessary thing? So firstly, no, it is not something that you must do. Um, not every single guinea pig is going to need a supplement. Um, Different guinea pigs have different needs. There are a, such a large variety of supplements out there and such a variety in guinea pigs. Like all guinea pigs will need different things throughout their life. And your guinea pig too may not need anything, especially during its younger, healthier ages. And then once they get older, they may need to be put on to supplements later on in their life. Like my girls, Daisy and Missy both, they're my older two. When they were younger, I didn't even have them on a vitamin C supplement at all. But then now that they are older, they are on a whole lot more as far as supplements go. Like Daisy's on a digestive support, actually two different ones. Both Missy and Daisy are on a bone and joint supplement and urinary support. Um, as I find that is very beneficial once they get older. And then um, Daisy herself, she's the only guinea pig that's on the multivitamin because she is just so small, she really benefits from that extra boost. But then versus my younger two, Shelby and Luna, um, they both, they're on a vitamin C like every other day or so. And Shelby's on a skin and coat supplement because she does suffer from some drier skin. All my girls are on a vitamin C support, which, um, that is such a debated topic as well, so we'll be covering that more in depth than in a later time. But as you can kind of see, like just comparing my older girls versus my younger ones, my older girls are on a whole lot more than the younger guinea pigs. And each guinea pig has their own difference on how often they get, how much. All that stuff really comes down to your individual guinea pigs. Um, the best thing to do is to check with your vet. I am not a vet, so I can't really tell you what your guinea pigs specifically will need so you really need to go talk to your vet and ask them about all the different options out there and just see what they say would be best for your guinea pigs so there are a ton of supplements different brands um, i personally go with the oxbow line these are just a few of my different supplements i use um, but oxbow has such a big variety they have the bone and joint the skin and coat um, another the papaya support, a bunch of other things out there as well that are very good for your guinea pigs. Um, there are some debate as far as um, these do have some like preservatives and the um, molasses in it. And some guinea pig owners, whoops, some guinea pig owners are kind of cautious about the whole molasses thing. Um, Oxbow is a very you no know, well-known brand. Vets love them, so I personally do not feel it's that big of a deal because it is a supplement this isn't part of their normal like diet so much this is just a supplement so you aren't gonna they aren't gonna be eating that much and like it is not gonna harm them. I mean, how many people use these on a daily basis very respected guinea pig owners and vets and all sorts of people out there that are very respected and they all use it and never had any issue with it so i personally do not feel it's anything to worry about however i am putting that out there for if that is something that you are very concerned about then that is something to be aware of 
But another thing to keep in mind when it comes down to supplements, when you're deciding whether or not you should use it with your guinea pigs or not, is to remember these are supplements. These are technically a medicine. These are not like treats that you can just just give them all of it all just because it makes you feel professional or whatever because you're using supplements and all that. It's very, very easy to fall into that trap of feeling like, you know, I give my guinea pigs this and this and this and it makes you sound like you're, you know, very professional. You, you know, give them all these supplements and supplements just make you sound um, amazing. You know, like you give your guinea pigs a whole, you know, medicine and stuff like that. But it's very important to remember the least um, added in supplements you can give, the better. It's best to stick with more natural things such as giving them a good variety in food. So like when it comes down to vitamin C deficiencies, um, it's just the biggest best thing to do is just to make sure you're giving them a wide range of vegetables, especially ones that are very high in vitamin C, such as bell peppers and carrots and things like that. Of course, carrots in moderation, all vegetables, make sure you research the vegetables. Just Google, are these veggies safe for guinea pigs? And it'll bring up all the info and our ex guinea pig owners, such as myself or other people on YouTube. And just ask them, you know, how often would you recommend me feeding this? And get your info from there. And of course, your vet is the best place to go. Um, and like that's the best way to make sure guinea pigs are getting enough of the different vitamins that these supplements provide. However, supplements are useful though. They are something that you should just say like, oh, I'm sticking to everything natural because sometimes there are things in there that it's very hard to get your hands on <laughs> in the wild. Like you can get a lot of things in herb mixes and stuff like the ones sold on Small Pet Select and other companies out there as well. But, um, you know, supplements are just a very practical way of making sure they're getting everything just in one tablet, which is just good to make sure. Kind of like how we do not feed measly mixes with guinea pig pellets. Sometimes with forages, they can pick and choose what they want. So with pellet form little supplements, it just makes sure they're getting everything kind of like the right amounts, which is very useful. So supplements are a useful thing. You just gotta make sure your guinea pigs actually need what you're giving them because while mostly supplements will not harm your guinea pigs if they do not need them, it's not gonna hurt them per se, but it's a waste of money. You could be spending all those dollars on like other things for your guinea pigs or putting it aside for vet costs or just buying stuff for you. I mean, like you need stuff too. So like you could save so much money by not putting it off just for supplements right away. Because supplements aren't, they aren't a joke. You might be thinking too, well, how do I know if my guinea pigs need a specific supplement? Now again, I'll be covering each individual type of supplement in upcoming videos more in depth and talk about like natural herbs and stuff that can help with that, you know, different supplements and the best route to go with that. But um, today I'll just cover very briefly so like say you have a guinea pig that's having soft droppings. Now not diarrhea, that is a different thing. I can maybe do a post on that on my channel page. Maybe I'll try to do a post on that, kind of comparing the two. So go check my channel page. I'll be posting that pretty soon. I'll try to this weekend. Um, but say they just have very soft droppings. Actually my girls have been suffering with that, especially Daisy has always had a very sensitive digestive system and really benefits from these, then you can look at that. Of course, you know, if it is diarrhea, you must contact your vet, but if you notice like you've been feeding them a little extra lettuce and stuff, or cucumber, things like that, they're very watery, you know, cut back on that. But then you might want to check into something like this, which is a digestive support by Oxbow. And you're gonna to want to look at that, read over kind of what all it does, so like, you can look at that and be like, well, that might be a shot. Like when Daisy had the soft droppings for the first time, I did my research, you always do your research. And I thought that sounded like it could be a helpful thing to use. So I bought her some, I gave her 
the right amounts you should be getting, which they do have instructions on the back that you can follow. And it really helped. Like I cut back, I actually didn't give her any vegetables for about a week just to get that gut calmed down. Cause she, when she was younger, this was like years and years ago now, but you know, I was advised just to stop veggies for um, about a week and just give her these. And then I slowly added in vegetables again. And I kept her on these. She's been on these ever since, oh my goodness, she's probably like four at the time. She's six now. She may have been younger than that. It was years ago. And um, she hasn't had any major issues since. Now I've been kind of spoiling them a little with the veggies because it's springtime. So they've been on a little more and I've been noticing the soft droppies have been kind of coming back. So I've been cutting back again, kind of being my, more mindful of that. Um, but like in that instance, that was a good way to see like, okay, this is an issue I'm experiencing. There is a supplement out there that could help. I tried it, it worked and I kept her on it. Um, and I mentioned it to the vet before as well and they agree now that's a good idea. So that's how I kind of decided to use a supplement. Same with the urinary ones. They've been having some urinary sludge and nothing serious again. No, these never are, I must clarify, supplements never fix a health issue. They will not, like if your guinea pigs are suffering from, like they aren't peeing at all or there's blood or they seem like they're in pain or anything that is very concerning, you must get them to the vet. There is no supplement that's gonna fix a health issue, but they can prevent one or kind of reverse a beginning health issue. So um, I've been noticing some urine sludge in the cage, some urine deposits. So I put them on that and I haven't seen it in ages. I mean, it, it was amazing. It went away and I am completely honest and I'm not at all being sponsored by Oxbow or anything. I'm just saying my honest experience, it completely took it away for me. So I've been, I just give them a urinary supplement, just half of the um, daily amount that they would get. I just give them half of that every single day and it's kept them nice and healthy for many years now. So, and there are so many supplements out there, but you get the idea. So you wanna just look for a health issue, ask yourself, is this potentially dangerous? Is this a actual health problem? A, like a sickness they have that I must get them to the vet. If that is the case, get them to the vet immediately. However, if it's just you think it could be a developing issue, then try a supplement like that. Do your research, kind of think, is this something that would help them? And if you all kind of think like, yeah, this could be potentially helpful, go ahead and try it. Like all of them are natural supplements. They aren't going to hurt them. So it's worth a shot. So that is typically kind of the steps I go through in deciding whether or not I should be using a supplement. You may be wondering too, do I need to use a supplement for the rest of their life? It depends. It depends on your guinea pig situation. If your guinea pigs have, you know, an ongoing issue, you might want to talk to your vet if it's something kind of questionable, such as Shelby's dry skin. I'm going to be trying to get them all in for their yearly checkup pretty soon, get them registered somewhere. And um, I'm going to be talking to them about her dry skin because that could be a potential issue with like mites or something like that. And I really kind of want to get that figured out. Um, but so like if it's an ongoing issue, you might want to talk to the vet. However, if it seems to kind of just come and go, it tends like if you put them on the supplement and it goes away, then you can... Put them on it once the symptoms go away keep them on for about a week and then i would take them off of it and just see does it come back or is it less or if it stays away then i would say you don't really need to bother until um, you know you start seeing some symptoms like with the soft droppings if they kind of get soft after you give them maybe some cucumber one week give them a little extra fruit because they were acting super cute. <laughs> that can happen. <laughs> I'll be honest, I have fallen into that trap of kind of miscalculating how much fruit I gave them and their, so their droppings are a little bit softer than they should be. Then it could be a good thing to, you know, put them back on it. So I'll typically have certain supplements on hand 
all the time, 24 seven. Then there's other supplements I don't really bother with on a regular basis. So for example, the supplements I use on like a regular basis is their digestive support, their vitamin C, and their urinary supplements. These are three that I have them on pretty much all the time. Like these are, even for my young guinea pigs, these are three that I just always have on hand. I personally feel like with my guinea pigs and their personal situations, this is just the three that I always have on hand. They are very important for me. As well as the papaya support, I've been kind of testing this out as well. Daisy's the only one that takes these, but um, this is something I always have on hand for her. This and the digestive support can kind of go back and back. So it is kind of, this is more of like a mild, more something you can give more as just a regular boost more than like the um, digestive support in the green bag that I just showed you guys is kind of more if they're having symptoms of like soft droppings. This is more just for digestive health more so. Um, then these three are some that I have them on hand right now and I use them off and on but these aren't like ones that they I feel like they must be on. Like these are the joint supplements. These I use just for my two seniors. I just give them one or two every week or so because they aren't really having any symptoms of arthritis or inflammation or anything. But being older, I feel like they kind of can benefit from some of this. But if I say we're to run out, it's not a big deal. Like it's not something that I feel they should be on on a regular basis. Same with the skin and coat. This is more as a booster that I give Shelby right now. Um, and I sometimes give it to the other girls if they were <laughs> earlier begging for one. I might give one to them because it's not going to hurt them any. Everyone likes the shiny fur. But, um, you know, it's nothing like that they must be on right now. And the biggest one is my multivitamin. Multivitamins really aren't anything. You don't need to use a multivitamin. Guinea pigs do not need multivitamins. This is just something I've become, I mainly bought for the video to show you guys. And I also just kind of want to test it with Daisy to see if that would help her significantly at all. And um, this one is a good thing to have on hand if your guinea pigs are kind of sickly or recovering from illness. It can just be an extra boost in just vitamins in general. Kind of like the vitamin C, it's a good thing to have on hand if they are recovering from illness or kind of are struggling with some health issues. It's kind of a good thing to have, kind of as a alongside supplement, I guess you could say. The last supplement I want to show you guys is kind of a debated one. Most people count this more as a medicine more than a supplement, but I actually use it more on a regular basis than a lot of people were to. And I'm going to tell you a little bit why I personally chose to do so. So this is Benabac. You're probably familiar with this if you... Um, probably have this in your first aid kit. If not, I would recommend getting some because it's very important to have on hand. This Benabac is the powder kind, which I prefer because it stays fresher longer, which is nice. This here is just a probiotic. A probiotic has like little microorganisms inside that um, are very good for their gut and can help keep their gut moving well. This is also kind of an essential thing if you're using antibiotics to use alongside it. Um, but I actually use it kind of like on an every other day basis. I'll sprinkle a little on their veggies. Now just one scoop for all four of my girls. So like not a lot, but just a little bit. I find it's very good for their gut to have that on a regular basis. I mean, a lot of people do this on a regular basis for their animals. A lot of people do it for their cats and dogs. I know we do it with the horses next door, um, my neighbor's horse. She is on a probiotic all the time. Like whenever I make grain, I always put a scoop of that in because she just really, any animal that has little issues with their gut, it can really be a beneficial thing to have kind of in there as a booster. Um, again, not a whole lot of this and not everyone uses it. It's just kind of a personal decision I've made, especially for Daisy because she just has always had trouble with her gut. It's just something she always had. I don't know why. It's just, that's just how her body is. And this has really been helpful for me. I find that it is a good thing to kind of use alongside your digestive supports and stuff like that. It can really be helpful. So, 
that is probably my last one I want to show you guys. So that is pretty much everything I'm going to cover in this introduction. Um, one last thing I want to mention though, when it comes to using natural remedies such as herbs and things like that, always, always do your research. Now in the upcoming episodes, I am going to be mentioning the individual um, supplements and like areas of supplementation that we're going to be covering. I will be mentioning like different herbs that could be beneficial for those different things. But in general, make sure you do your research on anything that you give your pets because you know all animals are different and some will even react to things differently. So always, always, always do your research, think about it, and never ever do supplements just to sound like you got all together or you're doing anything special for your pets because the best thing to do is just to give them a healthy diet a healthy balanced diet and just keep them going to the vet make sure they're getting a good vitamin c fortified food make sure they have hay 24 7 as hay is 80 to 90 percent of a guinea pig's diet so they must have it 24 7 and keeping their enclosure clean is a big part of it and just Keep him healthy. That is the biggest thing you can do for your pets. And supplements are never ever going to replace those things. Those things are the biggest things you want to focus on. Don't focus on supplements. Supplements are not a necessary thing that you must be using. If you have decided by watching this that, you know, some of my guinea pigs may benefit from some supplements, then that is great. Go ahead and do it because supplements are a useful thing. And they are definitely an important part in guinea pig ownership and it's something that if you feel like your guinea pigs do need it will be is a very important thing and I would encourage you to look into that more uh, watch these upcoming videos and learn a little bit more about all these different areas and supplements and kind of really decide what would my individual guinea pigs benefit from and not just your herd but your individual guinea pigs which one which supplements would be beneficial for them if any um, but yeah, that is all I really wanted to cover today. So I hope you guys found this kind of informative. There will be more episodes coming up. The next one we will be covering vitamin C is what I'm planning on. So keep an eye out for that. We're going to be covering all the different supplements in detail. So there's going to be some really fun info coming out soon. Make sure you give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll be seeing you guys next time.